On the 27th of October 1964, the East German cargo vessel Magdeburg was involved in a collision with the Japanese vessel Yamashiro Maru. The Magdeburg was steaming down river from Dagenham with a cargo of 42 Leyland buses bound for Cuba. The Yamashiro Maru was heading upriver for the Royal Docks when just off Baldness Point the two vessels collided. The bow of the Japanese ship hit the Magdeburg starboard side near the wheelhouse. She was badly holed and heeled over to one side and eventually was beached off Broadness Point. On board the German vessel there was a total of 54 crew including three stewardesses and two passengers. The Yamashiro Maru only sustained damage to her bow and was dry docked at the King George V dock. The salvaging of the Magdeburg, built in 1958 and weighed 9,656 tonnes, was a complicated operation. After an unsuccessful attempt to upright the vessel in March 1965, a second attempt was carried out in July, and this would finally upright and salvage the vessel. Two floating shear legs were used, and the vessel was upright by the 7th of July. Ever since 1960, the US government had been putting an economic squeeze on communist Cuba, with what amounts to an unofficial trade embargo. Free world nations are urged not to do business with Cuba, and all vessels dealing in trade between themselves and Cuba were blacklisted from picking up US government financed cargo, leaving Castro almost totally dependent on his Iron Curtain friends. But in 1964, Cuba needed to replace their bus fleet as they had previously purchased buses from Skoda in Czechoslovakia and these fell victim to Cuba's tropical weather and potholed roads. Leyland wrote off the 42 buses involved in the incident because of salt water damage and during the mid-1970s, a controversial American newspaper published at the CIA and the National Security Intelligence had confirmed that the ship collision had been arranged by the CIA with the cooperation of British intelligence. Since then, there's been a whodunit conspiracy over the whole sinking. However, many believe this story was simply fabricated and the collision was purely an accident. The Magdeburg was patched up in Tilby Dock and sold for scrap to Greek owners. However, she sank on the way there in the Bay of Biscay. One thing to note, the buses were all lashed by Harry Spencer, the head rigger at the Port of London Authority at the time. Not a single bus had shifted even though the ship lay on its side. This made Harry's name, and he went on to set up Spencer Rigging in Cowes in the Isle of Wight. Sadly, Harry himself passed away in 2009, but the family business still continues today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and if you've got any subjects that you wish for me to talk about regarding the Thames, please comment below.